Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of March 20th through the 26th. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let's tap into your weekly energy. What is going on? Some changes. Trust your intuition. It, it will not steer you wrong. I feel like you are sensing that there is something in regards to this King of Pentacles. Uh, strong Capricorn energy here could be uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I feel like there is something that you've been questioning that you've been wondering about in regards to that King of Pentacles. De definite Capricorn energy here. Um, there are big changes happening. I feel like you had a feeling something like this would be happening. And now the truth is being revealed. Um, trust your intuition. Even if something hasn't been said or announced or acted upon, know that whatever it is that you're thinking, feeling, questioning, wondering about, I do feel like you're right. You're hitting it right on the nose, whatever it may be for you. Especially if this is about money, new beginning, uh, strong negative attachments with this person. So if this is someone around you, I definitely feel like they're up to no good and I feel like you know it or someone is up to no good around this person. Also feeling Aries vibes here, Pisces and Virgo. We will clarify, don't you worry. I had to look at these. So things are changing big time. The wheel of fortune, when it moves, when it changes, it brings about a sense of clarity, success. Also feel like if there were things hidden, the universe is making it so that it becomes available. Information becomes available to you. Okay. If there is some sort of energy in terms of money, career, finance around this Capricorn energy or a King of Pentacles energy, maybe this is your partner, like head of the household energy, someone who's the breadwinner, the money maker. I feel like there is some truth, some communication, some clarity. I also feel like you may have somebody here who comes in. This is completely off of the first storyline. But I feel like if you have an idea for a business or to create something new or someone around you wants to start a new business, maybe you go into a family business partnership. I do feel like you have a very strong support system with someone who has the money, the financial backing. There will be strings attached to it, though. I feel like it's it's a little petty. And it can start some sort of arguments or disagreement. And, and I feel I feel like it's not a gift of money, it's a loan. And so if this is like your father, father figure, your partner, your spouse, uh, you know, maybe you for your child, and it just feels like, oh, I'm not gonna give you the money. I'll I'll lend you the money but I want to cut, I want, you know, and, and I feel like there is someone here who's like, I can't believe you're doing that, you know? Uh, King of Cups. Uh, be careful with how this is worded because I feel there's, uh, uh, there could be some misinterpretations, miscommunications, and it can cause uh, family disagreements, being in the outs, assumptions being made, and, and it doesn't have to go that route, just an FYI. Let me clarify. Let me take one more here. Two of Wands. Yeah. An opportunity to get clear about the situation. Give me one second while I grab another deck. So that card came out right away. Page of Swords and the Moon card. Okay. So uh, clarify the devil here because I feel like if you have uh, someone who's a friend, family member, partner, spouse, support system who is willing to support uh, a creative new endeavor financially there may be strings attached but I feel like it's not negative but I feel like it comes across negative right like I feel like in this person's mind it's like well yeah I mean isn't that the normal thing isn't that the natural thing to do you know write a contract and you know like yeah it's for everyone's protection but I feel like somebody here gets offended 
like we're family or like I'm your wife, I'm your husband, I'm, you know, whatever. Um, but it's, it's doing things the right way is how I feel. And so somebody here ends up feeling backstabbed and betrayed for making that, um, I guess that comment coming out of it, right? Now for others of you with the initial um, message I was getting in the beginning of something, you know, some sort of truth being revealed, things moving forward, but the universe uncovering some sort of truths, I feel as though um, this feels a, like there has been a little bit of shady business with this person, this King of Pentacles with the devil card. Um, you had this, I feel Aquarius, like you had a feeling something wasn't right in a situation, but you had no proof. And you probably would have sounded like a crazy person for making some sort of assumption or accusation, but I'm, I'm hearing you're right on it. Yeah. Um, I feel like, like there's almost this uh, offer of money, love, apologies, buying someone's love, money, affection, buying someone's affection with money. There are definitely three parties to this situation. I feel like almost like there's uh, children involved. I also feel like in this type of situation, uh, there seems to be a bit of favoritism and a juggling act when it comes to children. So maybe, you know, two baby mamas, two baby daddies, um, spending unequal time, uh, one getting more attention than the other, one getting more money than the other. Yeah, uh, surrounding children for sure. Uh, what's the truth being revealed? Wow. What did I say? Trust your intuition, Aquarius. Like, it's not even just like a small spiritual nudge. Like the universe spirit is saying, whatever you're thinking, feeling, hearing from the universe, from your guides, it's true. They're using me to reinforce that with you as well. What's the universe uncovering here? Moving forward, King of Swords energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That could be you or uh, another air sign. Page of Wands, new beginnings, new opportunities. Could also be an announcement of a new child coming in, new job. I'm also hearing good news. Good news, promotion, new beginnings. This is like a mixed bag for you guys. There's a lot going on here. Uh, the start of a new company, taking back control of your life. Um, the ideas, the money, whatever it is that you need to start a new business, to you know create the life that you want, it's all coming in for you. And I feel like if you've been feeling like it's time to start a new business, if it's time to get a new job, transfer, uh, start applying elsewhere, I feel like you started thinking that or feeling that because it's out there for you. The universe is saying, yeah, trust your own judgment. Queen of Swords energy flipped out right now, which is you. Um, what is the fool and the magician? I mean, these two cards alone, creative new endeavors, ideas, groundedness, the universe is opening roads for new ideas and, and, and new paths for you to embark on a new journey. Some of you, it might be buying a new house, a property, moving. I feel like some of you even want to start a whole new life for yourself and you're afraid of how that's going to blow over with, you know, maybe you're married and you're afraid to uproot your, your partner and children. Or maybe you've got, you know, extended family, friends, people that are trying to hold you back because they want to keep tabs on you is how I'm hearing it. Clarify the fool and the magician here. Nine of Cups. Listen, creating this new chapter in your life, whatever it is, that that inner knowing, that idea that comes to mind, it's really going to create an abundance of love and emotional happiness and joy and contentment. If you are single and you decide to relocate and move, you've got like, you know, even if you have kids, but I'm saying like you've got no partner, spouse, no obligations 
where you're at right now, but something's telling you, I think it's time for a new scenery, a change of scenery, a new home. Um, I feel like I need to get away from the city and into the, the suburbs, the, the countryside, or maybe it's the other way around, right? I feel like I need to be in the city, the hustle and bustle. Maybe I need to move towards water. Maybe I need to go hibernate in the mountains. <laughs> I feel like whatever it is that your inner being is calling you to, run with it. It definitely will bring about so much growth and happiness and emotional fulfillment. Some of you even meet your, you know, divine counterpart or your soulmate during this move or wherever it is that you are moving to could also be, um, you know, a, um, it, it could also be, um, that you fall in love with this new way of living, right? Enjoying the fruits of your labor, enjoying being single, enjoying the freedom. It definitely changes your life big time, big time. I've been noticing, uh, uh, you know, last week's was heavy readings for a lot of signs and releasing and, you know, things resurfacing and letting go and healing. And this week there is a, a, a strong sense and maybe with the new astrological, um, with the spring equinox and the astrological new year, that there is this sense of release, of healing, of starting over, a new lease on life for everyone, for sure. I just feel like this sense of happiness and joy that you hadn't experienced in a really long time. I feel, Aquarius, the term that just came through is you're chasing your dreams, whatever your dreams are to you. If it's to be a, a business owner, if it's to be, you know, an entrepreneur, uh, uh, maybe the, the manager or lead of your own department or, you know, your own location, your own office. I feel like you're entrusted with like the keys to the castle. Like maybe it's a new house. You get to move, you get to relocate. Maybe you buy your Airbnb place. I just feel like whatever this is for you, Aquarius, it's huge. It's very promising. You know, but but I feel like the Ten of Wands is like a burden that you've created for yourself because you've allowed other people to have a say in whether or not you should do something. Stop giving people so much power in your life. You definitely have to take that control of your life moving forward. One last card of advice. Queen of Pentacles. So if you have the money, the growth, the knowledge, being practical, nurturing, I feel like this is you nurturing your dreams, you nurturing your finances, you being very um, practical in your choices and how you move forward, knowing that there is this beautiful possibility of growth and expansion elsewhere. But I feel that people around you don't see it that way. And you know, I, I also feel like they're going to want to hold you back and convince you otherwise. Archangel Oracle for Aquarius here. Remember who you are. This is Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. So if you're feeling otherwise, if you feel like, you know, the people that you thought should be loving you because you love them, just know that God loves you. You are a child of God. You are very loved by your spirit guides, guardian angels, and your ancestors. You know, this is also a card that came out, and this is the card of courage. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. So if you believe that moving, growing, creating, um, starting a new business, being an entrepreneur, investing however you freaking want to invest, you know, remodeling a home however you want to, you know, remodel, move, buy a new car, whatever it may be, you know, I feel like you've got some great ideas that you want for yourself. And I feel like spirit guides, guardian angels are reminding you of who you are. And that I feel like they're also giving you the courage and reminding you that you've had that courage all along to stand up for yourself and continue moving forward. Uh, you also had the card of moon cycles. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. I absolutely love this card. We just had full moon in Virgo. So again, coincides with last week's readings that had a lot of heavy energy release. Things, re you know, people, places, things, emotions, memories resurfacing, allowing you to reflect, release, heal, move forward. I feel like um, halfway 
way through the week. Perhaps some of you have gotten the clarity that you needed, maybe leading up to the full moon, full moon in Virgo. Speaking of Virgo, you've got double Virgo here with the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. But I do feel as though... You know, moving forward, coming out of this full moon in Virgo, you are able to see things a little bit more clearly now. You know which path you need to take. You're not afraid to take that path. And I feel like there will be very positive outcome. I even feel like I'm not trying to be one of those like petty people that's going to, you know, let me pr prove it to you that I know what I'm doing and like kind of shove my success in your face. But honestly, Aquarius, I feel like that's your energy because I'm feeling that from you. I feel like you are most definitely going to be like I trusted my intuition I trusted my gut I know what I'm doing you didn't have enough faith in me but I had enough faith and courage within myself to do the right thing by me and that's all you need moving forward okay Aquarius so I hope that that resonated with you remember to give it a thumbs up like share comment and subscribe and double tap that bell to get notified of all the new readings you're Monthly April readings should be out by the end of this week. Your playlist is up here as always and any other readings I have for you. Sending you guys so much love. Have a great week ahead. Take care. Bye.